2018. It is 3 p.m. in the afternoon. We got kind of a shortish video for you today. That commercial about Cheryl Seashed just throws me off all the time. I want to get a she she or she shed. I can't do it. Um, this is episode 237, and I'm doing a thing here about Trump and his upcoming massacres. Um, yeah, I totally predict uh, that we're gonna have gonna do we're gonna have a bunch of firings after the midterm. The thing is, these guys keep telegraphing this. You know, it's gonna happen, but we can't let it happen before midterms because it will hurt us in the election. But Everyone knows that it might happen after the election, so how is that any different? You know, shouldn't be any different in voters' minds. Um, that Trump desperately wants to um, obstruct justice. So, we've seen it before. But yesterday was very, very confusing. Uh, you know, Rosenstein, he, uh, he went to the White House to turn in his resignation, even though Trump wasn't there, and he knew that. He knew that, right? He had to have known that. But he only wanted to turn it into Trump, and from reports I read, they're kind of conflicting. John Kelly accepted it, but Rosenstein, even though he turned it in, he would not allow him to accept it because he would only do it for Trump. And then he said that he didn't want to quit, that he'd have to be fired, and he could only be fired, he would only be fired face to face by Trump. I don't know how much of this stuff is ever. It's very confusing. And then Trump, because he wants to show wants to um, schedule a meeting with Rosenstein on Thursday. I don't expect he's going to get fired or leave his post after that. I think um, what we'll see is Sessions will be fired after um, the midterms and also be a good distraction after they get their ass waxed uh, <laughs> on election day. Um, And firing Sessions won't look like he's obstructing justice because Sessions is not overlooking the whole uh, special counsel. He's, he, he, he has recused himself. But who he hires can replace Rosenstein. So. This is pretty quick today. I did this in a couple, uh, within a couple hours, about an hour and 45 minutes. It's not as crazy as my usual idea, so I wasn't too sure about it. And I have, don't know what I'm going to do next for my next cartoon. I saw today that Donald Trump spoke at the UN, and whenever, and right after his first line, he said, like his second or third line, he, he said, My administration in two years has accomplished more than almost any other administration in my nation's history. And the UN started laughing at him. <laughs> See when you say ridiculous shit. Also on TV right now, I'm waiting to see Bill Cosby rolled out here, uh, who's been sentenced three to ten years. You know. Yesterday, I'm gonna wait to do another Kavanaugh cartoon until after uh, Thursday, um, which Thursday will probably give me something on Rosenstein and Kavanaugh uh, whenever when his accuser uh, testifies before the Senate, who is not going to listen to her. Um, they just another dog and pony show. Mm -hmm. Anything Kevin was a dog. Um, but I, but did anybody catch that uh, that coach show that he did on Fox last night? When was the last time a Supreme Court justice had to go on scripted TV to defend himself from some bullshit? Um, as Robert Cortino said, you know, the guy's just really, really not qualified. I mean, why can't we find people who are the best? the best minds been on the Supreme Court. You know, I think, I don't think presidents should nominate people who can't get at least 60 votes. We used to get people, uh, Supreme Court justices, who would be confirmed between 80 to 90 votes. And those days are gone. But you should still at least get 60 votes. And in fact, they knew that their choices would be so bad, they changed the rule that you only needed 50 votes. So, I mean, at, in the public response to 
Kavanaugh is that they don't like him. Get rid of him. Don't like him at all. And no, most people do not want him confirmed. If you get somebody like this split and like the Senate vote is too tight for this guy, I mean, it should be like a no-brainer when they nominate somebody. Even if you, um, even if you're a liberal and they nominate a conservative, you know, you should get someone that you have faith in. It's just not going to go go in there and be a hitman for Trump. Um, you should nominate people with a consensus. And he doesn't do that. Maybe nominate someone who's not a party hack. Um, Trump also complained, said that Rosenstein was not his guy, and that might be true, but he did have to approve his hiring. He talked about how he wasn't involved with that. Well, you were involved a little bit. You proved it. We only have two shadows today. I'm doing this video kind of early. And uh, we'll see if more people will chime in later. But um, 236 in the Political Family Feud. I did post two videos yesterday, so maybe people didn't get a chance to comment. Uh, Robert Cotino said... I talked about how, you know, my family had some crazy Trump supporters in it. Robert Cotino said, most of those who voted for Trump, whom, whom I know, have had epiphanies about his behavior. They may insist that Hillary would be worse, but they are not Trump supporters. You know, I see uh, Trump supporters online. I always go with that argument. Well, I voted for a better candidate. You know, Hillary's way worse. And I'm like, that just makes you sound stupid. It does. It's just a stupid argument. Um, and Robert, most of the people you know who voted for Trump have had epiphanies. I don't know any of those people. <laughs> I haven't met any. They're still like Trump, 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 Arlo said, I just got the dudes here today, um, about how I make a living. He says, you make a living from your work. How is this a waste? He's referring to uh, someone's comment that I wasted my talent. <laughs> Whatever talent I have. Um, he says, I would be on long freaking tours and I'd meet people often who wanted to know what I really did. I always replied, I'm a bounty hunter and I raised champion wiener dogs. To me, wasting talent would be working in a factory or a cubicle and you could be making art. He says, there was no need to shout this out. As always, enjoyed the video. I have become a staple of my daily routine. Well, thank you, Earl. I'm glad this is a staple of your daily routine. And I guess, I forget about it sometimes. Someone would tell me that they're impressed or proud that I'm still doing this, even without a job and, and just hanging in there. But I, I sometimes I overlook that because I'm sitting here doing it every day and I don't think I'm a big major success at it. Uh, but I guess I'm doing okay. <laughs> I, I'm eating, I'm surviving, and I'm keeping a roof over my head. Um, I need to make videos while I play lousy guitar. the cat got up to leave the room then he out of the bed that he's made out of my gig bag and then he realized I wasn't going to chase him with the guitar I guess he thinks for some reason I've never done it but he thinks I'm going to chase him with the guitar and then he came went back to uh, the bed that he's created and he's ignoring another person in the house who keeps calling him someone in this house is just addicted to this cat it's not me I never call the cat might be why he's always in here Sometimes I open my door and the cat's sitting right there. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, waiting for you. All right. Uh, maybe on the previous video. Um, uh, see, so we got some comments here that we didn't. Okay. We only got like a minute, I think. In this thingy. Uh, yeah, like a minute. Let's see if there's any shots need to get. Nope. Just Cortino. Man, I haven't got the ladies. The ladies are not common. Alright, we are almost done. I was reading one of uh, Mr. Cortino's quotes. And about, um, keep in mind, the significant portion of, of Louisiana when Paul blamed Barack Obama for the slow response to Hurricane Katrina. Not even a U.S. senator at the time. It was an Illinois state senator during Hurricane Katrina. That is true. It is funny. Uh, I've seen videos of people say that. Well, I want to know where was Barack Obama when 9/11 happened. 
All right, we are done. We are done. Hope you enjoyed today's little video. We will be back tomorrow with more goofiness and madness. Um, I have no idea what, I, what it will be about, but there will be a video. Um, thank you for coming by. Please leave a comment, click like, share this on social media, and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, okay? See you later. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.